Hello my dear friends single and unique platform team welcomes you in this current affairs show please share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more education related videos today is 24 september 2018 and we will discuss the current events in this current affairs show first of all let's have a look on the history as what happened on this day on this day in the year 2014 The Mars Orbiter mission makes India the first Asian nation to reach Mars orbit and the first nation in the world to do so in its first attempt. And today is also NSS day. NSS stands for National Service Scheme. It was launched in the year 1969. And this is the picture of India's famous MOM that is Mars Orbiter mission. Next, let's discuss the very first question of our current affairs quiz the very first question is straight run telecom firm bsnl has in a deal with which firm to roll out 5g and internet of things technology iot in india and the firm which it has in a deal is japan's softbank and ntt communications ntt communications is a subsidiary of japan's largest telecommunication that is nippon telegraph and telephone corporations the md and chairman of bsnl is anupam srivastava and the union telecom minister is manoj sinha next question number 2 who has been appointed as what sub grievance officer for india the person who has been appointed is komal lahiri she is a senior global customer operations at whatsapp Now let's discuss question number 3. How many states have refused to implement mega health care scheme Ayushman Bharat launched on 23rd September 2018 and there are total four states and one union territory. These are Telangana, Odisha, Delhi, Kerala and Punjab. Ayushman Bharat launched in Ranchi, Jharkhand. It is world's largest government funded health care scheme and it is expected to benefit around 50 crore citizens with a health coverage of rupees 5 lakh each now let me show you where this scheme has been inaugurated it has been inaugurated in jharkhand and this is the state jharkhand in the map of india now let me give you the basic information about jharkhand capital of jharkhand is ranchi cm is raghuvar das governor is draupadi murmu now let's discuss question number 4 where will sikkim's first airport be inaugurated and it will be inaugurated at pakyong the name of airport is also pakyong airport it is about 30 km away from the capital of sikkim that is gangtok and it has been built under udan scheme that is ude desh ka aam nagrik and this is the scheme to provide low cost connectivity to remote areas now let me show you the state sikkim on the map of india and this is the state sikkim which is highlighted with the red color now let me give you basic information about sikkim capital of sikkim is gangtok cm is pavan kumar chamling and the governor is ganga prasad now let's discuss question number 5 before question number 5 this is the beautiful airport which ha- which will be inaugurated today by our prime minister and it will be also a famous tourist destination or you can say it will be a tourist attraction next question number 5 Tata Steel will acquire the steel business of which company and it will acquire the steel business of Usha Martin Limited that is UML in around 4300 to 4700 crores next next let's discuss question number 6 what is the name of Odisha's new airport inaugurated by our prime minister and the name of the airport is Jarsuguda airport and it has been also developed under the centers udan scheme with a cost of around 210 crores minister of commerce and civil aviation is suresh prabhu now let's me show you the map of odisha on the map of india and this is the map of odisha in the map of india highlighted with red color the capital of odisha is bhuneshwar cm is navin patnayak and the governor is ganeshi lal next let's discuss a few questions from the world of sports the very first question is who has retained the pro boxing heavyweight titles and the person who has retained it is anthony joshua from britain 
he has been unbeaten in his 22 fights and in this picture you can see the person who is punching the other person is Jos Anthony Joshua now let's discuss question number 8 who has won Korean Open WTA World 2 and it has been won by Kiki Burton and this is the person this is the lady she has won this third time in the singles now let's discuss question number 9 who has clinched the Pan Pacific Open final held in Tokyo and it has been won by Karolina Pliskova by defeating Naomi Osaka and this is the picture of the lady who has won this Pan Pacific Open final so that's all in this current affair show thanks for watching it please do share and subscribe our channel thank you